Welcome again guys, uh, welcome to another set of videos. So today what we're going to be looking at is basically uh, we're going to, uh, you know, save a part and then we're going to uh, place them inside an assembly and then create a pin as well and basically made them. So, so, so far, if I just run the code, this is what we have. As you can see, we created a sketch and then we extruded them. We gave them some fillets and also we put like four holes in the corner. So now what I want to do is take this part and uh, it's not saved at the minute. So as you can see, it just says part nine. So uh, it is not saved. So I want to save this part. So what I'm going to do is basically uh, instruct Python here uh, to uh, go ahead and, and, you know, save the part with a, like a certain file uh, path as well as the folder name as well as uh, you know define the actual part name so in order to do that what we need to do is uh, there is something called as uh, save as method so again we're going to do inv which which is basically picks up the uh, active object yeah so which is the active and then we need the active document and then we're going to do a save as and save as method basically takes two methods the first one is going to be the directory and the part name in which is going to be saved and then it's going to say you know false so if you want to we just put false to make sure that this gets saved right so the directory that i'm going to save it as is is this here Again, it's in my C drive. It's got, let me just edit this. Please bear with me. I'm just editing this. So I'm going to call it a base plate. And that is going to be the directory here. Um, models so this is the one so i already have this i was just trialing this out before i started making the tutorial today so i'm going to delete these two so this is the folder i want them want it to be saved so let's minimize this and if i run the code let's see if it gets saved so let's close this document let's run the code see if the model is actually getting saved here yeah it got saved as base plate so we know that this works so i'll close this again yep so now next thing we want to do is again create a pin so i'm going to do this quickly over here uh, we've already explained everything all the code in the previous you know uh, tutorial so i'm just gonna this will be a recap if you've already seen it. And if you haven't seen it, please do watch it from the beginning because we're going to skip a lot of information over here. So first we need to create the part. Comment this out. So we're gonna create inventor part document, which is going to look at the application and then we're going into the documents collection and then we're gonna add a specific part to it and we know that 12290 is how um, it's basically equivalent for k part number and then within inventor file manager we go and we choose the template and also we're going to let inventor know that it's going to be a part right so we've done that so we go to the next next line now what we have to do is we have to define the part component definition basically the feature tree so that's going to be again uh, component Just call it pin component definition so we don't get confused in the future it's going to be inventor part document and then we're going to call the component definition on it so i think that'll work yeah now we need to define the sketch that's going to go into it so here we're going to say define sketch And then what we're going to do is basically say pin sketch you initiate a variable called pin sketch 
which is going to call this pin component definition pin component definition and then we're gonna call this sketches collection we've done all this earlier guys please do go ahead and check the previous videos and then we're gonna add to it the pin component definition again and we're gonna choose the work planes and we're gonna choose item 3 which is XY axis correct and now that is done now we have to define the transient geometry again we're going to do is TG okay. transient so we're going to put TG equals the application file we've already done this I'm just doing this again just like a recap for you guys transient geometry and then we're gonna add the basic sketch for it so so circle sketch sketch equals sketches sorry the pin sketch pin sketch and uh, we're gonna call the collection um, Yes, this is how we spell sketches. S K E T C H circles. So that's all done. Now we've created this collection here now. So now we have to actually go ahead and add the sketch to it. So we have to define so circle sketch dot add by center radius. And now we call it transient geometry over there tg dot create point 2d and then we would drop you know the uh, origin basically where the sketch should start and we're gonna define the uh, radius of the uh, sketch as well of the circle which is going to be 0.5 centimeters right so uh, so we've done that Again, everything is in centimeters over here by default. And then what we can do is we uh, now we have to define the extrusion again, same as before. Solid profile equals sketch. This will be circle sketch, right? Yes. We're going to add this to the profile dot profiles dot add for solid make sure to put the brackets any method within inventor needs a bracket now we're going to extrude it extrude and this is just a variable extrude solid definition yeah equals in component definition dot features again now we're adding all the features in the feature tree so what feature is it extrude features dot create extrude definition and we're gonna get the profile where is the profile the solid profile we're gonna take the solid profile and we're going to define 20481 which is basically extruding in that direction that's the direction in which it's going to extrude um so let me just check that again 20481 and um, what is it yeah so let me go into search here in the api help and yeah it's a join operation so what we've defined this you always get confused between join operation and the direction in which it extrudes so 20481 is the direction in which it's going to extrude so basically it's going to create um, a circle and it's going to make sure everything within that circle is is going to be extruded and it's not going to be a surface feature instead it's going to be a solid so that's what that is and then now we're going to take this extrude solid definition 
and we're going to create the distance it's going to extrude so distance extend equal to so we're going to use a variant here so two zero nine nine four was what we used previously in the direction so the variant is going to be 20 millimeters so now we can type in directly as millimeters because we're using um, a string value here as a variant so now we need to extrude the feature so now this extruded feature is basically there but it's not visible but in order to add it to the actual workspace we need to add it to the part component definition so again so it's going to be pin component definition features dot extrude features and we're going to add the extrude solid definition here so let's run this and see so so far what we've done so we have to create a pin okay so we're creating a new document and then we're adding the pin to it as well okay let's run this and see time to test it so the assemb sorry the okay the pin obviously didn't get created because i think that is a typo so component definition says did you mean component definition yeah i have a spelling mistake here in the line number 86 let's try that again as you can see it created a base plate then it created a new document to save the pin let's just open the folder that we were there before models let's delete this so let's run it again. It's been sketches created, but it did not extrude. It says unknown dot profiles. Okay. Okay, guys. Yeah, I found out what the problem was. So basically, yeah, uh, what happened here was uh, uh, this area here. We had like circle script sketch written here, which is the wrong reference. So it was like this before. So which we had to change it to pin sketch so we are trying to because the sketch circles have been added to the pin sketch so the circle sketch encompasses the whole collection whereas the pin sketch is what we need to add to solid in order to extrude it so when we change it to pin sketch so as you can see here so i'll leave this open as well so you can see that the base plate is created it is done saved as base plate and then we have the circle created as well so let me try that again just to you know double check everything's running fine so we're going to delete this file so what is this so we're going to delete this leave it here and then when i run it we get the base plate and all the features associated with it as well as the circle has been created now we need to save the circle as a this uh, when i say circle obviously the pin the pin is created so we need to save the pin in the same folder as before so let's go here and we select this file and then we drop it here obviously saying change the uh, name from base plate to pin so now that is done let's try this again let's not save this that's already saved open here and we would delete it so Everything's empty and let's see if it gets populated here. So let's run the code. As you can see, the base plate is created. Now the fillet is being created. So base plate is now saved and the pin is now saved as well. So now you can close them too. Open the folder, double click on this. So it's open the base plate, double click on this. The pin is there. So we have both the base plate and pin. So we have to now open an assembly and drop both the base plate and the pin inside the assembly. Okay, guys, I think the video is already a bit long, so I probably will end here and I'll I'll uh, create another video where we're going to be uh, dropping this all in the assembly and then mating them there. Okay, all right, guys, thank you very much. If you like this video, please do like and subscribe.
sorry i haven't made a video in a long time but um, i'll make sure i'm a bit more consistent because i'm just in the middle of uh, working for a couple of new contracts so i was just sorting all the paperwork out and hence i wasn't able to commit some time making these videos and uh, if you like these videos obviously please do uh, like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thank you